Hello, this is Kay Jo Lee with Crochet Basics, and in this episode, uh, Halloween is coming, so we're going to make uh, some spiderweb. All right, so this is a spiderweb. Uh, it can actually be a decoration, uh, but we're going to make it into a poncho. What I'm using today is Red Heart Super Saver, uh, just white, uh, size 4, medium weight, uh, you know, worsted weight yarn. And I'm going in in a J hook, US size J, which is a 10. It's a 6 point millimeter hook. Uh, you need not much at all. A couple of stitch markers for later on, a yarn needle for when we attach and weave in, and uh, tape measure is always our best friend when we're working with our yarn for, you know, tension and gauge and stuff like that and sizing and um, and then a scissor to cut off. All right, so not, not a lot at all, you know, mainly just the, you know, bare basics on this one. Okay, so with that being said, let's get this going. So we're only doing the triple crochets in the tops of the tribbles from the previous row. I'm going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from the base. Okay, this is the base. Now that, that, um, that's throughout this whole pattern. It's always the fourth chain from the base. So this is the base where the piece is. This would be the top of the chain, you know, and that's the base. So if you're a beginner, I'm just, you know, putting it in there. Now a little tip or, you know, because this is loose on, this is chaining and it's, it's, you know, it's loose on the hook. When you yarn over, hold it in place and, it, you know, it keeps it easier because it'll start to, um, like spin on the hook and, you know, if it spins, if you get a full rotation and get a full spin, you'll lose one of your yarn overs. And I know that sounds silly, but uh, you'll see if you <laughs> you'll you'll see if it happens to you uh, in making this because it it kept happening to me, keeps happening to me. So now I'm hold like you know I hold it on while I'm working my yarn overs. I like this one. I think it came out pretty cool. So uh, if you do a, you could start this one with a magic ring if you like. Now I don't use the magic ring. It always, it never sits right for me. I'm not really sure, so I don't even bother. And I don't use do a slip knot because I wasn't taught that way. So I just do a little crossover on my hook. This one is easy. It is all chaining and triple crochets. Um, a triple crochet is an American term in UK it's called a double triple something to the effect of that all right but I'm in America whatever you know I'm in the US so I'm going with American terms okay so you're going to uh, chain five for our starting chain chain five one two three four five all right now in that first chain the one furthest from the hook you're going to work a triple crochet. All right, the chaining, the beginning chain, and the uh, all the beginning chains count as a stitch. They count as a triple crochet for this one, and it's uh, the abbreviation is TRB, triple. All right, so with a triple crochet, you're going to yarn over twice. Yarn over twice. You go through, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have four on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that's a treble, uh, American term. All right, so you're gonna do your starting chain, you're gonna treble, a chain one, you're gonna go back in and do another treble, and you're gonna repeat this, you're gonna have 10 treble crochets for this um, first row. And we're working in the round for most of this. Well, no, for just the beginning of this, we're working in the round, as in in a circle. All right, so let's get this going. Chain one. And you'll work around your tail so that we could pull that loop uh, tight and tighten up that, that center loop.
So you'll chain one and then you'll slip stitch into the top of um, the first chains. Now with this, um, this is loose tension. This is not an amigurumi, you know, a stuffed animal or a plushie or a little, you know, so this is nothing we're stuffing or anything like that. So this is loose tension. Okay, you want it to uh, flow, you want it to, you know, um, lay flat. So after you slip stitch and make your, uh, your last triple for row one, you're going to chain seven. You're going to chain seven, turn your work, and, and you'll work back in the triple. Okay, so you'll chain seven, turn work, do your first triple, and then after this first triple, you're going to chain four in between and then do your triple. Okay, so for this one, four, um, four chains in between each triple. And we're going in in the tops of all the uh, triples and our chaining counts as the triple. The fourth chain counts as the triple. So you do your chain four, and then in the uh, the fourth chain from the base, all right, but it should lay flat. If it's not laying flat, and it's, you know, like, like that, <laughs> uh, go up a hook size. Okay, go up one one or two hook sizes until, you know, you, you get it. Because, you know, um, whenever you're new to work, when you're working a new pattern up, you know, sometimes you have to adjust for your tension and, you know, your, your supplies, what you're using, really, you know. All right, so we're on row three. So we're going to chain nine. And when I'm chaining a lot, I always move up my hand. It, it helps make it stable and to uh, um, uh, keep count. It also helps with keeping count. All right, so chain nine, turn your work, and in that first triple there, let's do a triple. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna chain seven in between. Okay, so seven chains, and then you'll work your next triple. And we're on row three. And then we'll slip stitch in the, to the fourth chain from the base. Now we're going to chain uh, 11. We're on row 4, we're going to chain 11. You're going to turn your work. And work your first triple crochet, and then it's nine chains in between each triple for this row.
All right, so now for row five, you're going to chain 14 for the starting of the row. All right, turn your work, and uh, you'll start doing your triples, and it's 12 chains in between each triple uh, for row five. So if you haven't so far, please uh, subscribe, give a thumbs up if you try and make it, you know, let me know if it worked out for you. Chain from the base and do a slip stitch. Okay, now that was row five. And just to show you, okay, with this, you can cut off here. You can cut off here and hang it up in the corner, uh, you know, in the top of a door jam or in the corner or something like that. Okay? So, and put stick a couple of fake spiders on or you know whatever it is and you have a decoration all right so that's why we like this one but we're not going to stop here we're going to make it into um the pa the first panel to make the poncho but we're gonna uh keep going uh you know we're gonna keep going without you <laughs> if you're ending off here so now for row six we're gonna add in uh some increases and and skip some stuff okay so for row six you're gonna chain six then you're gonna turn your work and you're gonna go right back into where your slip stitch is and you're gonna work a triple crochet Okay, all right, so now we're going to, um, so you're going to chain 12 and work your next triple. Okay, so that for that first one, we're going to chain 12, and we're going to do a triple. Now we're going to chain 14, and, and keep working. And we're not going all the way around for this row, for, for row 6. So we're stopping at the 8th uh, triple crochet before... Um, the last two are worked, if that makes sense. But I'll show you what I mean. So for this row, uh, you'll work the first eight triple crochets for this row, for, for, um, for row six, with a chain 14. And then we're gonna repeat what we just did here for that uh, eighth triple before we end the row.
Okay, so now I'm on my eighth and I'm leaving these two unworked. These two triple crochets, these three spaces, we're not doing the chaining. What you're going to do here is you're going to chain three and do another triple crochet right where you just did one. So this is what that looks like with your two little loops and this is left unworked. All right, so from here we're gonna chain and we're gonna turn work. So we're gonna chain eight and turn our work. All right, and we're gonna work a, a triple in the first triple right here, right there. Now, for two of these, we're going to chain 14 with a triple in between. So 14, triple, 14, and then triple. So this is like a... Um, we're increasing on the bottom because we're taking away stitches from the top and this is for the shaping of it. Okay. So now we'll work two more trebles. It's kind of hard because the piece is so, it's going to get so big, so it's like hard to show it on the screen. So from here, we're going to chain two. So this is what this row looks like. This is row seven. So this is a little tricky because we're doing an increase here. So, but you're going to increase, you're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go right back in where you just did your triple and you'll do another triple. So we're, we're increasing and decreasing, you know, because we're not, we're leaving uh, stitches unworked, and but we're adding in now. All right, so now for the next three stitches, I, I know I'm not making sense. Okay, to me, let me just real quick, to me, the tribbles are the stitches. You know, everything else is just chaining. So the, the tribbles are the, the stitches. So when I'm saying stitches, I mean tribbles. I'm not talking about any chaining, you know. I'm talking about the triple crochets. Okay. So from here, you're going to chain 14 and we'll work our, our next triple. You'll chain 14 and work another triple. So you'll chain 14 and you'll work another triple. So here we're going to do that increase uh, where we go back in. So you're going to chain two. And you'll do a triple right in the same spot. And I'll show you what the piece looks like in a second. If I could stop hitting my light. Okay, so after you do that increase, you'll do two more with the chaining of 14 and the triple in between.
Okay, so I'm at my my last one here. So I'm going to work my triple. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then in the fourth chain from the hook, I'm going to go in and do my triple, my last triple for this row. Okay. So this is what the top looks like with the unworked stitches. And here's what the bottom looks like. So you should have, so you'd have your, your two little spaces, two big spaces, two little spaces, and then in the middle, you got three because this is our center here, all right, if that's making any sense to you. But you'll see the, um, I always put the pattern itself in the subtitles, you know, the little titles on the screen and stuff, so you'll see that. And we're up to row eight. All right, so we're just going to keep on getting bigger and bigger with this spider web. And again, you want it to lay flat. You don't want it to be have any curvature or anything like that. This is um, a fillet, fillet crochet. It's supposed to be flat. And if you haven't, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and all that good stuff. And I have other Halloween patterns and stuff. I'll put the links below. So now we're on row eight. So for row eight, we're gonna uh, we're gonna start out with our chain. You're gonna chain ten and turn your work. So you're going to uh, skip, that counts as our first triple and our chaining for that, uh, for that beginning of the row. And so you're going to work a triple in the next stitch over. So from here, we're going to chain uh, 16 for the next two loops. We're going to chain 16 with a triple in between. So you'll chain five in between where your increase is. And work your next triple in your next, uh, on the top of your next triple spot. Or a stitch. Triple stitch. Okay. And then we'll go back to working the uh, 16 chains for the next three chain spaces with a triple in between. So now from here, you'll do your chain five and work your next triple. And then you'll go back to chaining 16 chains. The next two spots are 16 chains.
All right, and then for the last one, you'll uh, you'll chain five, and then you'll work your triple crochet in the fourth chain from the base. All right, so bear with me. I'm trying to make it so that you could see the whole piece, and I really I don't have an overhead camera or like you know something to hold or so I'm rigging up my <laughs> my tripod to try and make this work so that you could see the whole thing being made, you know? So I'm gonna have to do this on an angle. Well, we'll see if it works, you know? So at this point we're on row uh, nine, I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we're on row nine for this. So we're gonna start off with a chain 12 for row nine. But this is what your piece should look like. More or less laid flat. All right, so you're gonna chain uh, row nine, chain 12, and turn your work. So you're gonna go in and make your first triple crochet. So from here, you're going to chain 18. And work your triple crochet. So it's, it's two sets of uh, chaining 18 for this. So this is the first set. And then we'll chain 18 again. and work your next triple. And then this is uh, our little stitch, our little increase here for the shaping. So you're gonna chain uh, seven and work the next triple. So chain seven, work your next triple. And then we're gonna do three sets of chaining 18 with a triple in between. All right, so you're going to work your treble, and then you'll chain seven and work your next treble. And then you'll do your two sets of 18, and that'll bring us down to the end here. All right, and then you're going to work your last uh, chaining, and I'm going to change my page on my pattern. <laughs> so for the last one, you'll chain seven, and then work your triple crochet in the fourth chain from the uh, base.
So that's what it looks like after um, row nine. We All right, so now we just finished row nine, so let's start working up row 10. So you're going to um, chain 14 for the start of row 10. All right, you're gonna turn your work because we're gonna work back. So you'll work your first triple crochet in the next one over. And then we're gonna chain uh, 20 and work our next uh, triple crochet. So you're gonna do that two times for each spot. Work your next treble, and then we got a short chain in here. All right, so now we'll chain nine. No, yeah, we'll chain nine. And mark our next treble. All right, so now for here, for the next three chains, three sets of chains, you're gonna chain 20 for each with your triples in between. And then we're going to chain nine again. And work our treble. And then we're going to go back to chaining 20 for the next two sets of chains. All right, and then for this last one, you're gonna chain 10 and work your uh, triple in the fourth chain from the base. All right, so now we're up to uh, row 11 here. So you're gonna chain 16. So that's what it looks like so far. So it's at, it's, you know, it's pretty big. It's, this is only 15 rows. Uh, that's as big as I'm going with this uh, one, only 15 rows, but it really, it really grows as you're doing it, you know? All right, so row 15, I'm sorry, row 11. 
you're going to chain 16 to start that row. We're chaining 16 to start row 11. Alright, and you'll work your first treble. So from here we're going to chain 22, and that's for two sets of chains with the triple in the center. All right, now we are on a, we're on a short chain here. So for the short chain, you're going to chain 11. And work your treble in the next one over. And then you're going to go back to uh, chaining the 22 for the next three sets of chains. So now from here you're going to chain 11 and work your triple crochet. And then we're going to go back for two sets of chaining 22. We've got a little knot. So for the last one, we're just going to chain 12 and do our triple in the fourth chain from the base. All right, so now we're on to row 12. So. I mean, it's a fun piece. It's a whole lot of chaining and everything, but the triple crochets, sometimes they're annoying, I think, you know, because it could slide off or your, um, your yarn when you're yarned over because it's so loose, like it could, uh, you know, slip over and rotate off of the hook. <laughs> so, very silly. All right, so for row 12, we're going to chain uh, 16 to start and then, you know, work back.
So you'll work your first treble and the next one over. And then we're going to increase some more. Alright, so now we're going to chain uh, 24. For two sets, two sets of chains, we're going to chain 24. So we get to our, our short chain. All right, so now we're so now we're at our short chain, and we're gonna chain twelve. And work our triple crochet, and then for the next set of three uh, chain spaces, we're gonna go back to uh, chaining twenty four with the triple crochet in between. So now we're at our short chain, so that's a chain 12 for the short, the short half chain and a triple. Alright, so now we're back to chaining our, our two sets of 24. And then uh, our ending with uh, 12 chains on the end. And then for the last one, you'll chain 12 and do your um, triple crochet in the fourth chain from the base. Okay. Doing good. We're on to row 13 now. So, you know, depending on the length you want, you can, you know, stop, uh, you know, at, at any time, <laughs> really. All right. And, uh, you know, make your second panel and stuff so that you can connect it and everything. So, because it really does, you know, it does go wide, very wide. You know?
Alright, so with that being said, row 13. So we're going to chain 18 starting out for row 13. So chain 18. And work your first triple crochet. And then we're going to do sets of 26. For the next two uh, chain spaces. So 26 uh, chains. But if you haven't, please subscribe, give a thumbs up and, and all that good stuff. I'm on Instagram, Etsy, eBay, um, Facebook, all that wonderful stuff. So now for our short chain, we're going to, uh, for the short chain, we're going to chain 14. And then work our treble. And then back to our our long chain. So three sets, three sets of 26 chains with the triple in between. There's really so much counting <laughs> with this pattern. That's why I'm so quiet, you know. Usually I'm chatty chatty, but there's so much chaining that I have to count. So, not my usual chipper self, you know? So, last uh, set of chain before our short chain. So now for the short chain is 14, so we're going to chain 14 and work our treble. And then uh, back to our chaining of um, 26 for this one. So one more set of 26 chains on here. And then we'll work our short chain <laughs> and our last triple on the, this row, row 13. So for the ending chain, you're going to chain 14 and then you'll do your, your triple in the fourth from the base. Row number 14. So for row 14, we're starting out with uh, 19 chains. So 19 chains and then you'll start working back. And you'll work your first triple crochet. We're in the home stretch. We're, uh, we're almost uh, done with this panel. Got this row and one more row. And then it's making the second panel, uh, which, you know, you can do that by yourself. And then we'll work on uh, attaching. 
the front to the back panel so that we get you looking super cool for uh, for fall, you know, for hitting the club and all that good stuff, you know. If you want it to be a spider web for um, Halloween or, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to work out our long chains and we're chaining 28 on this on the long chain. So two sets of 28 chains with the triple in between. So much chaining, right? <laughs> Now, if you wanted to make this longer, like keep going, you can, you know. Uh, you just have to be mindful of how much, you know, chaining you're doing, like adding in the increases and stuff, of, uh, you know, stuff like that. If you wanted to go longer with this, um, I don't know. You know, it's always your choice, you know. I'm trying to give you, uh, you know, a pattern that, you know, adjustable and stuff like that and versatile. I try and give you the versatile and things, you know, you can uh, make easily, I think. So we're up to our shorter chain at this point. So for the shorter, <laughs> shorter, for the shorter chain, you're gonna uh, you're gonna chain 16. Shorter. <laughs> And then back to the chaining of the 28 chains. So for here, you do the three sets of 28 chains with the triple in between. In case you're just tuning in. <laughs> So we're now we're on the short chain and we said that it was 16 chains for the shorter side. Now I forgot to say, but I usually say, you know, you can always pause, uh, you know, go back, pause, stop the video. So that, you know, if you're, if I'm moving too fast for you, and you can always re-watch it, you know, not everybody uh, has been crocheting as long as I have or whatever it is, you know. Alright, so we have two sets here of um, 28, and then we have our last little chaining for this row. So then we're going to chain 15 and work our uh, triple and the fourth chain from the, the base.
super, super good. We're, we're on our last row now, row 15. So we're going to start out with a, a chain uh, 20. So you work your 20 and you work your first triple and then it's uh, two sets of 30 chains with the triple in between for row 15. So two sets of 30 for here and here with the triple in between. So now we're on our short chain for here, so we're going to chain, so we're going to chain 18. It's funny to me because I have the camera up high, so I'm used to having the, my little pattern like squished off to the side and everything is super close up and everything, so because I've, I don't normally film this way, but I figured because it's such a big piece, I wanted to figure a way to, um, be able to video it where you see it getting bigger, not just my hands all, you know, and then I'm trying to show you how big the piece is and stuff like that. So I hope this is working out for you uh, visually as far as, you know, you see it growing and getting bigger, you know, and then it's perfect that it's a white spider web on my black velvet cloth here, you know, that makes me happy because my video is my Sister tells me all the time that my videos are so dark and I'm just like, well, I don't, I just don't have the lighting, you know, because I start to melt. <laughs> I start to melt after a while with too much lighting. All right, so we're chaining 18 for your short chain here. And work your triple and then we go back to the um the the 30 chains three sets of chaining 30 with the triple in between each set So now we're back at our short chain, and so for this we said we were chaining 18 on the short side, on the short chains. <laughs> So 
So our last two sets of 30 chains here with the triple in between. All right, so now, I know I say all right a lot. <laughs> uh, so for the last one, you're gonna chain your 16 and do your treble in the fourth chain. And then you will pull a tail and cut off. The tail is for weaving in <laughs> this time around. So that's it, 15 rows. You'll make a second panel. Now, what I like to do whenever possible, if it's two panels, something like this, where tension counts, I try and do them around the same time, you know? just so that my tension is even and all of this. And just to show you, this was a full, uh, and I made two panels out of this. So, it doesn't take that much yarn. This is a 12 ounce, I think. It's a jumbo. Oh, it's a 14 ounce. All right, so this is a 14 ounce, and I still have plenty left to make, a, I guess, another one. <laughs> Okay, so just to show you what the full panel looks like. So that is the full panel. Um, so you'll make two. And you can sew up the top. So now this is the bottom. This is the chest. Okay, so I'll show you whatever. But um, you'll line them up. And you'll work from the outside in. If you have, I was, um, I don't think I said this before. All right, well, I'll show you in finishing touches, but just to explain it to you. If you are smaller, more petite on your shoulders, this is going by your shoulders, because this will go. But what you don't want is to sew it too wide, and then it's like hanging off like it falls off of you, <laughs> or you're constantly like trying to put it back on your shoulder, you know what I mean? Uh, like when your your bra strap is too loose or whatever, you know, it's like you'll, you'll uh, you end up picking it up, picking it up, picking it up, putting back on your shoulder, you know. So um, if you are smaller, more petite, shoulder width, okay, you're, you're going to start attaching, I, it's row eight, you should attach. Row, row eight to row eight. All right, so easy to count. Uh, the rows because you're starting here so one two three four five six seven eight here's your row eight so if you want it wider like you have broader shoulders you know you can uh, start attaching row nine but you're going to attach from here to the end so from from here to the end to here on both sides not in the middle because that's where your head's going through but on both sides all right so I'm gonna get my second panel and I'll um, and we'll work that out so to show you 
this is the panel we just made here and here is my uh, first panel that I made in the white because I had to adjust a few times to make it you know work out where it had that um, I don't know uh, like a flowy feel I guess like you know so but you'll line up your panels it's a whole lot of chaining up in here <laughs> but you'll line up your panels and then you'll thread a, a, a yarn needle with your yarn if you're more petite shoulder shoulder wise you might want to start at row eight okay row row eight should do you because that's going to give you a head hole <laughs> Okay, my bag of tricks here. So that, you know, from row eight, that's gonna give you approximately about 15 inches, 14 inches across, okay? That's like 30 something inches, like shoulder to shoulder for like a, a small a petite person. Um, 15, 15 inches across, you know, shoulder to shoulder. So, but you want this to drape. You know, so you're, you know, well, you'll see it in the pictures. You want it to drape. So, but um, you can always start sewing on the outside from here and work your way in. And then you'll be able to see, you know, if, uh, how big you need to make the, the head hole. So you want it to sit like, you know, on your shoulders. All right, but I'll show you in finishing touches. And uh, when you're done, you know, you weave in and everything. But it's best to start, you know, if you can, if you're unsure. For the very first, you know, if you make it again, of course, you know, you start how you're going to start. Once you work a pattern, you're like, ah, you know, uh, I'm going to do it this way and it'll come out better or whatever. You know, you always make ideas. And I always have ideas as I'm working up different patterns um, on how to make it easier or work up smoother or, you know, different types of increases and such. All right. With that. So you can start on the outside here and then work your way in, you know, and then you'll be able to see how wide you want it, you know, what, what type of width you want. But to show you, pretty cool. And I'll show you'll see in finishing touches once I sew it up. But just, a, a, you know, a yarn needle, a tapestry needle works up perfect with uh, a little bit of yarn. And, you know, and then you'll weave in all your ends and, and you'll go from there, you know, and you'll make sure you weave in your center and your last uh, ending tail and stuff like that. All right. So with that being said, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, happy hooking because it keeps you off the streets. It keeps you, you know, out of trouble looking super cool for Halloween and your baby alive's dressed and all that, you know, amigurumis, whatever fun stuff I make you. Uh, please subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you make it. If you post it to Instagram, tag me. Let me know. If, if you make it in the glow in the dark yarn, totally, please, please, please tag me. I would totally love to see it in the glow in the dark yarn. I'm probably going to see if I swing by the uh, craft store and pick some of that up. Just to, just to try it out. See what it looks like, you know. And uh, with that being said, happy fall. Because it's fall time and Halloween and all that good stuff. And, you know, and this one's good because you can wear this to the club. Well, you can wear this to the club anytime, you know. And I'll be back real soon. So check me out on uh, Etsy's. I have some Halloween stuff there. I have eyeballs and things like that. All right. And uh, I'll be back real soon with my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Have a super duper great day. And uh, happy Halloween trick-or-treating and all that good stuff and hitting the club and all that. All right. Thank you so much. K. Bella Jolie, Crochet Basics. Have a super great day. Take care. Ciao.